Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three of my favorite ways to create online exit ticket activities. Let's go ahead and get started here with the first one, which is ziplet.com. And as you can see, I'm already signed into my account and I already have a class created. But if I wanted to, I can go over here and create a new class. And we can use the option for students to sign in with Google, Microsoft, or email. Or we can use this option here where students don't need to create Ziplet accounts and they'll just use a PIN number to join into the activity. So let's use that option for now. And hit next. And let's call this one Mr. Burns class. And let's create this class. So here we have Mr. Burns class and we have the class pin number. Now, one of my favorite things about Ziplet is going to appear right now when I ask a question. So I'm going to ask a question and I could write my own or I can use one of Ziplet's many pre-made questions. Let's go into exit tickets. And we can say we want to use this first question here or any of the other ones. I'm going to select the first one. How well did you understand today's lesson? And let's click next. And you can see here we want students to respond with a scale, with text. Or we can say do, a, do an emoji reaction. So let's just do an emoji reaction to this question. And when do we want to ask the question? Let's ask it right now. And we're going to see here the scale that students can use to respond. And we're going to give students the option to respond anonymously, or we can make them put in their names. But let's let them respond anonymously for now. By the way, I have another video on how to do this where students have to log in. But let's ask the question right now. And so we have here our class pin and students simply go to ziplet.com slash go and use that pin. So let's take a look at the student perspective right now. Here's a student screen and that's the pin that they're going to use. So let's have them enter that pin number 472-526. And now they're going to hit go. And let's put in the first name. And we'll say this is Max. And he's now going to respond to the exit ticket. And he's really got it down. So let's say he's super smiley about it. And he's going to send his response. Now I can go home and you can see he's right back to that ziplet pin page. And then as the instructor, I can see I have that new response. How well did you understand today's lesson? And there's my response. And we can look at all of that in a little bar graph. And I can see that Max is the one who responded with that great emoji option. So next, we're going to take a look at a tool you can use for creating exit tickets in PowerPoint. So here I am in my sample PowerPoint lesson, and I've already created a slide here called What Word Best Describes Today's Lesson. So there's my slide. And I'm now going to use a tool called ClassPoint, which is a free PowerPoint add-in that you can get. And with it, I am going to now ask a word cloud type of question. So let's use this word cloud option here. We'll turn that on. And I'm going to see question type is word cloud. And we're going to see that that has now inserted this little word cloud button on the screen. And now I'm going to go and present this to the class. So I'm going to slideshow and let's present it from the current slide. We'll see 
what word best describes today's lesson. And we'll click on that word cloud button. And now students can respond by going to classpoint.app and using that, that code 95960. So let's take a look at that screen right now. So a student goes to classpoint.app and they can do it on a mobile device, they can do it on a laptop, they can do it on their Chromebook, and then they just simply enter that class code, which in this case is 95960, and they put in their name or the name that they want to have appear on the screen. And let's say student enters the response and there's the first word to appear in the word cloud. Now, as the teacher, I can close the submissions at any time, save them for review, and view the responses all right there from that PowerPoint slide. So this is really a good option if you're already using PowerPoint for some of your lessons. ClassPoint is a nice free add-in that you can use to build in some exit tickets right at the end of your lesson. And last, we're gonna take a look at a great little tool that students can use to draw responses to your prompts. So the third tool that I really like for creating online exit ticket activities is formative. And those of you who have watched my YouTube channel or subscribed to my blog for a long time probably know that I'm a big fan of formative because as we'll see here in my dashboard, I can create online activities, online assessments in which my students respond by drawing responses to my prompts. And this is great for those topics that are sometimes hard to type or aren't well suited to multiple choice type of questions. So let's go in here and call this one sample assessment number 999. And let's add this question. And the question that I'm going to ask is a show your work question. And we'll say something like, draw a picture of your lunch. And so that's my prompt. And now let's give that 10 points. Or we can give it zero points if we wanted to, or 100 points. It doesn't really matter. It works the same way, regardless of how many points you give out for it. And now let's assign it. And in this case, I'm going to assign it to my guest students. And so we'll assign it and students will go to formative.com slash join and use that code. Or you can share the direct link to it. You can even put that link in Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams if you wanted to. Let's bring that up on the screen. And we'll see here how the student joins in and the student's going to join. It's going to be Sam, Sam, who's going to join in now. And we'll see, show this work, show your work and can use all these drawing tools over here on the left-hand side to color in. And let's say this student wants to draw a picture of a hamburger. I'm not really sure how to draw a picture of a hamburger, but we're gonna make one here. It's kind of a, there we go. And we'll make this, perfect. All right, so that's my lunch. And student submits the work, yay. And they can exit the assignment. And now as the teacher, I can see there's Sam Sam's response. And if I wanted to, I could go here and adjust all these settings. I can close the assignment to so adjust these settings. And we can see here, we can turn this into a teacher paced activity so that I could shut it off if students are taking too long, or I could set some time limits on it. And finally up here, I can hide the student names. So if I wanna show this in front of the class, I'll hide all the student names so that students don't see who submitted what, but I can, as a teacher, when I'm done sharing the screen, go ahead and look and see if there's Sam Sam's response. 
So those are three of my favorite ways to create online exit ticket activities to use in your classroom. And of course, you could always change it up and instead of being an exit ticket activity, this could be an activity you start your class with or use as a little comprehension check in the middle of a lesson as well. Finally, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.